So a very, very good early morning to you. Back out once again, nice and early. And we're going to be riding this this morning. This is the last of the UM Commandos that we have in. This is the standard Commando, not the classic. Renegade 125 with a water-cooled engine. And we're riding this for our customer, Richard. 20-mile road test for him. Now, this has the pannier kit already fitted. It is due to have the screen fitted later today. It does take quite a while to fit these panniers. As with the uh, panniers on the UM Commando, they have these big metal brackets that are behind that are actually bolted into the suspension and bolted onto the swing arm down there. So it does take about an hour and a half to fit that pannier kit. But it looks really good with those panniers on. And just quick look around the bike. Obviously, it's a water cooled machine, as I have said. This is all in the black livery, whereas the Commando Classic would have the chrome livery, where it is black. And then just looking in, you've got that nice Renegade logo to the side of the bike. Nice bronzing as well to the side casings of the engine. Now, I've got this one on the side stand at the moment, but it does come with a main stand on this. So we're going to take this out, get some mileage on it, and give this little bike a run. Now, once you first sit in the seat, it's very deep in the seat. And it's got that typical cruiser front facing pegs so you've got to get your feet right up so i'm in the ignition the clock will go through its duty cycle come back down now on this you've got the indicators just to the bottom you've got your engine light there and your neutral light as well and then of course your speedo on the top there so we're just going to fire this one up and take it out for a run get some test mileage on it And it just pulls through that gearbox really nice. Nice little tick over to this bike, nice little burble from the 125 engine on this one. Compared to some of the 125s, it's got a very, very deep grumble to it. So just bringing it through the box. And you've got a gear indicator down on that dash as well. Currently in fourth gear, just bringing the revs up and up into fifth. I'm just taking my time with this one because obviously I'm on a new engine on this. So, what we're going to do, we're going to change the ride circuit up slightly. We're going to go down the opposite dual carriageway. Put a little bit of urban on it first before I crank up the mileage on this one. So obviously very damp road today. It has been raining. Roads have been really sunny for the last couple of days. So I'm just going to take it nice and easy, but nice hard pulling on that front brake. And just pulling away. So just working our way through the lights. And what I'm going to do in just a second is get some mileage on this bike for you. So on the dual carriageway we go after waiting for the lights. And currently sitting at a nice steady 42 in fifth gear. Now the mirrors on this absolutely exceptional. I've got zero shoulder because these mirrors are so high. I've got absolutely zero shoulder in the mirrors. So I've got a really good view of the road behind me. And the riding position on this, especially with these big high and wide bars, very very stable bike. And it just sits there and just plods along like all of the UMs do. Now it's such a shame that obviously the UM brand is no longer available via Lexmoto. They have just a few left in stock with some of the dealers, but you will have to obviously ring round and find one. And if you can get hold of one of these UM commandos, hang on to it because I can see the value of these going up. They are going to be a very, very rare item. Now obviously there are discussions 
as to UM going to another dealer, but as of yet, nothing has been heard. So the last one that we do have left is the UM Sport, and that is very, very old school with the uh, round headlight cowl on it. Very different to this one, but uh, do check out the UM Commando Sport, and we have got that one available. But the uh, the UM Commando and our UM Classic have already been sold with the pannier and the fairing kit on them. So just wait to have the screen fitted on this one. As I said, it's going to be hopefully fitted later today. Just awaiting that screen to turn up from the dealer. But these are absolutely gorgeous. And if you haven't seen um, the video that uh, is on my page, roll back about, I believe it's about six to nine months ago, UM Commando Classic in Copper and Cream and that was bought by uh, one of our customers Chris and uh, he's had it for about I think it was about nine nine months to a year but that thing has got sixteen and a half thousand kilometers on it and it just keeps going and going and going all he ever does is just bring the bike in for a service that is all he ever has done normally phones up sort once every two months and let me next stage I've done another 3,000 kilometers can I have another service not a problem Chris bring it in so it just shows the reliability of these uh, UM commandos that Lex Moto used to do and it is such a gorgeous little machine I absolutely love these now I'm as I said I am not a fan of cruiser bikes I do not like riding feet forward it feels really weird to me obviously being a sports bike rider but it is very, very comfortable. You don't get uh, any of the leg ache that is associated with being a sports bike rider. You don't get any of the wrist ache. You don't get any of the elbow ache. You don't get the lower back pain as well that you would with a sports bike. And uh, the seat on this is really, really soft as well. Unlike what you find on a sports bike. So it is a very, very nice machine to ride. And uh, obviously for long, long distances, it would be a great bike to ride summer cruising or just your daily ride to work and just impress people because you've got a big cruiser bike you don't see many of these about now obviously I'm taking it a little bit easy on these tires because they are brand new tires on this bike but even in wet conditions it still corners very very well so currently about three miles in on this so I've only just started the ride test on this one but it's pulling through the gears lovely it rev matches down through that gearbox very very good as well and the braking system on this very very efficient and as I've said in loads, loads of videos it does what it, it says what it does on the tin it's a bike it's got two wheels and an engine this one is water cooled so you can sit at, uh, in traffic all day with this and not worry about your engine overheating like you would with an air cooled machine and obviously air cooled machines need the uh, the breeze over the engine to cool them off on the fins this one being water cooled not an issue and obviously due to the size and the width of this it's got a very very good road presence so even that's a rev match so I like to rev match coming down through a box because you match the your uh, engine speed to the gearbox And obviously on some of the big sports bikes you do have an auto blip so it will as you pull the clutch in change down it'll auto blip to rev match for you but even if you were just uh, clicking through the gearbox it would still do as just as good a job very very smooth gearbox on this which is something I do like I hate clunky gearboxes and obviously my sports bike set up so uh, unless I rev match, if I do just click through the gearbox and just let the clutch out it is very very clunky and that has been known to obviously if I come down qu too quick through the box I can lock up the back end so I tend to uh, old habits and rev match everything that I do but this little UM absolutely beautiful and in the black it just looks the bee's knees and it's just got renegade everywhere even on that uh, handlebar mount at the front you've got the renegade logo there this one has a USB charger 
that is built into the side of the clock so uh, you can have a foam kit up on the bars plug your USB into the uh, top end of the petrol tank just to the left of that uh, speedo and then just even clicking down through the gearbox like that it's still very very good at pulling you down but that low grumble from that engine, that grunt sounds unlike any other 125 most 125s tend to be uh, very very tinny there's only sort of a couple of bikes that I like that have really got the grunt and they are the uh, ZS XF, the LXR and obviously these UM Commandos so what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, crack up onto the dual carriageway I'm going to get some mileage in and then I'll catch up with you guys when I'm on about the last two to three miles and we'll go around town, do a little bit of urban, do some slow speed manoeuvring just to show you the stability and handling of this bike so we'll catch up with you in a few so back off the uh, dual carriageway route just to save you the uh, boredom of me flitting up and down the dual carriageway putting mileage on the bike at 40 mile an hour so we're now coming back into the urban route uh, currently 17 miles on the bike no issues whatsoever all the levers are all in exactly the right place as I need them to be brakes are very very effective gear lever very nicely set so I can get my foot under and above for changing of gears and all the indicators, lights, horn all works perfectly well so as we normally expect with these little UMs we never have any issues just coming back down into the 30 and it's very easy to look down and all you have to remember on these and especially on any of the Lexmoto bikes is 10, 11, 12 and 1 <laughs> it's that easy all the clocks are set up 10 o'clock 30 mile an hour 11 o'clock 40 mile an hour 12 o'clock, bang on 50 1 o'clock, 60 and if you fancy it, 2 o'clock, 70 mile an hour and as you can tell by the alarm going in the pocket it's exactly quarter past 8 so I've been out for about 30-40 uh, minutes or so so just working our way back into town and we're just going to do some obviously low speed manoeuvring around little roundabouts and just show you the handling characteristics now I normally do my uh, top five I call it reach and people say why do you call it reach reliability ah for reliability these little water cooled machines absolutely perfect never ever get any faults unless you don't obviously keep an eye on your uh, fluid levels but reliability 10 out of 10 economy which is for your E and uh, economy on this is very very good you get loads of the gallon it's got such a big fuel tank as well so you could go sort of a good couple of weeks between fills if you're doing sort of 10 15 miles a day so there's plenty of fuel in it you've got a nice fuel gauge there as well so it's telling me I've still got a half tank which is exactly the same as it went when I went out and I've got 20 miles on it so it's not even moved so E, economy A, affordability now these uh, used to retail at about 2249 plus of course you're on the road fee so a little bit of change from uh, just short of about 2.5 grand but the affordability and these are absolutely uh, gorgeous when it comes to the affordability I would spend money on one of these if I uh, only had a CBT C is for comfort seat on this is absolutely crisp it's lovely I've got not got the uh, the numb bum as some call it so that you would with a now normally on my sports bike I am aching after about 20 miles I want to get me backside out of the seat wiggle it around a bit and then get back in the chair with this absolutely perfect so comfort on this very very good 10 out of 10 again handling which is for your H handling on this is very very good big wide bars and with that feet forward position 
it is very very stable on the road now obviously I'm a sports bike rider um, so this is my personal opinion if you like your cruisers then good on you you know the handling on this it just pushes through those roundabouts lovely even on those low revs just chuggy 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 and then just bring the power and just come out the roundabout handling on it is absolutely superb from a personal opinion and this is only my personal opinion I like to be able to lean over a little bit more so for me I'm going to give it a 9 obviously other people will mark it a 10 but I'm going to give it a 9 for handling because being a, a, a cruiser bike and not a sports bike it is very unnatural to me but that is my personal opinion guys if you like your cruisers if you like sort of riding more of an upright position then 10 out of 10 on it but personally I'm going to give it a 9 because it's it's not something that I would be on all day I would rather suffer with uh, the bad back and the wrist ache from a sports bike but as I say personal opinion but 49 out of 50 for me I absolutely love this but each to their own as I say and the roads drying up nicely we're meant to have some really bad thunderstorms today I haven't seen one iota of a bit of heavy rain or a bolt of lightning yet so. So 19 miles in, making our way back to the garage. So this is the UM Commando, this is the standard Commando. If you can get hold of one, you've got yourself a little bargain here. The Commando Classic, absolutely perfect. We have got the Sport available, and obviously we've got loads more bikes coming in. If you do want to get one in, order, or a pre-order, just put a deposit down on the next batch that are coming in before we sell them out. Give the guys at Eclipse Motorcycles a call 01908 643603. Don't forget, like, subscribe, smash the hell out the notifications bell. And all the social media is on my website, revbomb.co.uk. First page has got all the links to Eclipse Motorcycles. And then in the social media page, just go to that. That's got the links to my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And, of course, all my YouTube channels are in there. And you can watch all the other ride videos. Until then, this is RB signing out. Wishing you have a good weekend. Be well, ride safe, and until then, it's a goodbye from me.